Several years ago, I moved into a spacious apartment in a bustling city. It was a welcome change from my previous cramped living quarters, and I was eager to settle into my new home. Little did I know, the events that would unfold in the coming days would leave me questioning everything I thought I knew about my neighbors and the safety of my own space. Shortly after moving in, I encountered one of my neighbors in the elevator. He introduced himself as Mike, a friendly and affable guy who lived at the end of my hallway. We exchanged pleasantries, and Mike suggested that we hang out sometime. I welcomed the idea of making a new friend in the building, but little did I know, our brief encounter would soon take a dark turn. One quiet evening, as I lounged in my apartment, I heard the unmistakable sound of footsteps echoing down the hallway. Curiosity peaked, I approached the door and peered through the peephole, expecting to see a neighbor passing by. Instead, I was met with the unsettling sight of Mike standing in the middle of the hallway, his gaze fixed on my door. For a moment, I froze, unsure of what to do. Mike's presence outside my apartment was unnerving, and I couldn't shake the feeling of unease that washed over me. As he lingered by my door, I wondered what could have prompted him to stop there, his intent unclear. Just when I thought he would move on, Mike took a step closer to my door, his actions becoming more erratic by the second. He seemed to be studying my door intently, his movements sending a chill down my spine. I held my breath, waiting for him to knock or speak, but he remained silent, his intentions shrouded in mystery. Unable to bear the tension any longer, I retreated from the door, my mind racing with fear and confusion. I sought refuge in my bedroom, hoping to distract myself from the unsettling encounter. But try as I might, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, that Mike's presence lingered just beyond my door. Hours passed, and still, there were no further disturbances. Eventually, exhaustion claimed me, and I drifted off to sleep, haunted by the events of the evening. The next day, I encountered Mike once again in the hallway, his demeanor cheerful and friendly. I forced a smile and exchanged pleasantries, but beneath the surface, I couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at me. As we parted ways, I couldn't help but wonder about Mike's true intentions. His behavior the night before had been unsettling, and I couldn't shake the feeling that he was hiding something. Days turned into weeks, and I found myself growing increasingly wary of Mike's presence in the building. But just as suddenly as he had appeared, he vanished without a trace. Rumors circulated among the other tenants, with whispers of evictions and strange behavior. Curiosity got the better of me, and I asked one of my neighbors about Mike's sudden disappearance. To my surprise, I learned that he had been evicted several weeks prior, his strange behavior raising suspicions among the other residents. Relief washed over me as I realized that I would no longer have to worry about encountering Mike in the hallway. But even as I breathed a sigh of relief, I couldn't shake the feeling that something sinister had been lurking beneath the surface of our seemingly normal interactions. To this day, I still wonder about Mike and the secrets he may have been hiding. And as I reflect on the events that transpired, I'm left with a lingering sense of unease, a reminder that sometimes, the greatest horrors can be found in the most unexpected of places. It was supposed to be a fresh start for my family when we moved into our new house. The spacious backyard boasted a charming treehouse, the perfect playground for my son to unleash his imagination. In those first few hours, his laughter echoed through the yard, and I couldn't help but smile at his joy. But as the days passed, strange occurrences began to unravel the tranquility of our new home. It started with subtle disturbances, a misplaced item here, an unexplained noise there. At first, we brushed it off as the quirks of adjusting to a new environment. Little did we know, the horrors lurking in the shadows would soon emerge with chilling clarity. One night, in the dead of darkness, my wife and I were jolted awake by the sound of the sliding glass door in the kitchen. Heart pounding, I leaped out of bed, ready to confront the intruder. But by the time I reached the kitchen, there was nothing but an eerie silence, the darkness swallowing any trace of the intruder. Despite our unease, 
we reassured ourselves that it was just a figment of our imagination, a trick of the mind in the stillness of the night. Yet, as the days passed, the unsettling incidents only escalated, each one more inexplicable than the last. It wasn't long before we realized that something sinister was at play. Items began to vanish without a trace, and whispers of an unseen presence lingered in the air. My son mentioned a friend named Lucas, a mysterious figure who seemed to materialize out of thin air. At first, I dismissed Lucas as an imaginary companion, a product of my son's vivid imagination. But as the events unfolded, I couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more to this elusive friend. Then, one fateful night, terror descended upon our home with chilling clarity. The sliding glass door creaked open once more, but this time, I caught a glimpse of the intruder, a masked figure wielding a knife, his intentions as dark as the night itself. With sheer determination, I barricaded the door, the weight of fear pressing down upon me. My son's words echoed in my mind, his innocent belief in his friend Lucas now a haunting reminder of the dangers lurking in the shadows. As the masked intruder relentlessly pounded against the door, a chilling realization dawned upon us, Lucas wasn't just a figment of my son's imagination. He was something far more sinister, a malevolent force lurking within the confines of our own backyard. In the chaos that ensued, we were fortunate to escape with our lives, but the scars of that night would linger long after we fled our once beloved home. The police searched tirelessly for the masked intruder, but he vanished without a trace, leaving behind only a trail of fear and uncertainty. In the aftermath of the ordeal, we were forced to abandon our home, the sanctuary we had hoped would provide refuge for our family. Yet, as we left the treehouse behind, I couldn't shake the feeling that Lucas's presence lingered among the shadows, a reminder of the darkness that lurks just beyond our grasp. And so, we embarked on a new chapter, haunted by the memories of that fateful night, forever wary of the secrets that lie hidden in the shadows. For in the darkness of the night, even the most innocent of places can become a playground for unimaginable horrors, where the line between reality and nightmare blurs into oblivion. The onset of winter marked a significant shift in my life as I embarked on a new journey driven by work obligations. Relocating several states away was inevitable given my professional responsibilities, leaving me with no option but to uproot my life and settle in an unfamiliar small town on the outskirts of the city. With no chance to visit beforehand, I rented a house sight unseen, bracing myself for what lay ahead. Arriving in the town, I couldn't shake the sense of displacement as I navigated its narrow roads and antiquated neighborhoods. Unlike the bustling urban landscape I was accustomed to, this town exuded an aura of antiquity, its streets lined with time-worn houses that seemed frozen in a bygone era. Amidst this quaint backdrop, I found my new abode, a relatively modern dwelling nestled amidst a mishmash of vintage residences. Parking my car on the curb, I approached the house with a mix of trepidation and optimism. Unlocking the front door, I stepped inside, greeted by a sight that fell short of my expectations. The walls bore the scars of neglect, adorned with cracks and water stains that marred their surface. It was a far cry from the pristine images I had seen online, but given the limited options, I resolved to make the best of it. Setting up camp in the living room with an air mattress, I braced myself for the night ahead. The silence of the empty house felt oppressive, amplifying the unease that gnawed at the edges of my consciousness. Just as I began to drift into sleep, a sharp knock shattered the tranquility, jolting me awake. Checking the time, 1 AM, I hesitated before approaching the door, wary of the late night visitors. Peering through the peephole, I caught sight of two shadowy figures, their features obscured by the darkness of the night. Their presence seemed out of place, prompting a surge of apprehension that gripped my senses. Remaining silent, I waited for them to depart, but their persistent knocking persisted, refusing to relent. A sense of foreboding washed over me as I grappled with the mystery of their untimely visit, my mind racing to fathom their intentions. After what felt like an eternity, the figures finally retreated into the night, leaving behind a lingering sense of disquiet. 
Exhausted and on edge, I retreated to the safety of my makeshift bed, the events of the night casting a pall over my already fragile sense of security. As sleep eluded me, I was jolted awake by a faint sound, a subtle creak that echoed through the empty confines of the house. Heart pounding, I scanned the room for signs of intrusion, my senses heightened by the eerie silence that enveloped me. Venturing into the darkness, I stumbled upon a chilling discovery, a window left slightly ajar, its presence a stark reminder of the vulnerability that lurked within the confines of my own home. Panic surged through me as I realized the implications of the breach, my mind racing to comprehend the gravity of the situation. Summoning the courage to investigate further, I combed through the house, my senses attuned to any sign of intrusion. It was then that I stumbled upon a solitary footprint, a grim testament to the intrusion that had unfolded in the dead of night. With a sense of dread gnawing at my core, I contacted the authorities, their arrival punctuating the stillness of the night. Together, we combed through the house, piecing together the fragments of a harrowing ordeal that had unfolded in the shadows. In the aftermath of the intrusion, I remained vigilant, haunted by the specter of that fateful night. Though the perpetrators remained elusive, their presence lingered in the recesses of my mind, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurked just beyond the threshold of my new home. And so, I continued to inhabit the same house, a silent sentinel amidst the ebb and flow of time. Yet, the memory of that first night remains etched in my consciousness, a testament to the fragility of security in a world fraught with uncertainty.